Hi, I'm Ian. I'm 55 years old and have early onset Parkinson's disease. I was formally diagnosed in 2011 at the age of 50, but I was experiencing symptoms as far back as 1995. I was originally misdiagnosed with benign essential tremor and spent the following 16 years trying to find out what was really wrong with me. My Parkinson's really progressed over the last five years to the point where I was having difficulty feeding myself because of my tremor. I don't currently take any prescription medication for Parkinson's disease because either the drugs have no positive effect or the side effects of the drugs are actually worse than the symptoms that they're supposed to be treating. On the 19th of April 2016, I had bilateral subthalamic nucleus deep brain stimulation. This procedure involves the placement of two leads, each with a number of electrical contacts at the business end, deep within the brain in an area known as the subthalamic nucleus. These leads are then connected via wires that run across my head and down my neck to a neurostimulator which is implanted in my chest. The neurostimulator is then programmed to deliver a small current to the brain to block signals from misbehaving neurons which are causing my symptoms. This is my therapy controller. It's like a remote control for my neurostimulator which allows me to vary the voltage delivered to each of the leads in my brain within set parameters or turn the device on and off. First, I have to pair the controller with the neurostimulator, like this. You can see that my neurostimulator is switched on, that the state of the battery is OK, that the device is set to use group A settings, and that it is currently delivering 2.2 volts to my left side and 2.3 volts to my right side. I'll now turn the neurostimulator off by pressing this grey button, like so. You can see from the flashing top line of the display that my neurostimulator is now switched off. It takes a minute or two for my tremor to return in full force. It doesn't come back as instantly as other videos I've seen on YouTube. You can see that I have significant tremor in my right arm and both legs, mild tremor in my left arm. I also have some dystonia in my right foot, which is causing my toes to curl under my foot. This is very uncomfortable, and you can imagine how that would affect my walking and balance. I'm now going to perform some of the tests that neurologists have us perform when they assess tremor. Firstly, I'll provide a sample of my handwriting. You can see that my writing is small and gets smaller and less legible as I proceed. Formation of letters is definitely impacted. Next, I'll attempt to sign my name. My signature is a scrawl in any case, as you'll see later, but this is just a mess. Now I'll attempt to draw a freehand spiral without supporting my wrist or my arm on the table. And there we have something which is barely recognisable as a spiral. I'm going to demonstrate the severity of my tremor by trying to draw a freehand straight line alongside a ruled line. Again, without supporting my wrist or arm in any way. And you can see the wild scribble that results. These tests are a good means of assessing tremor, but let me give you a few examples of everyday life that is impacted by tremor. Imagine having a shave, and I always have a wet shave. Very tricky. I used to think I'd done well if I only cut myself a couple of times. How about preparing vegetables for cooking using a sharp knife? I used to be an absolute liability in the kitchen. Or carrying a couple of pints of beer from the bar with everybody watching you. Not nice. OK, enough with the shaking. I'm going to switch my device back on again now. First I have to pair the controller with the neurostimulator again. And you can see the flashing display shows 
but my DBS is switched off. I'll switch it on by pressing the grey button again. And now you can see that the top line of my display shows that my DBS is switched on. Oh, I can feel the power come back on as a rush of electricity throughout my body and immediately my tremor is back under control. Oh, so now I'm going to repeat the task that I performed with the system switched off so that you can appreciate what my DBS does for me. I write the same sentence, not taking particular care, and it's certainly not my best handwriting, but it is larger and infinitely more legible. My signature looks like my signature should look. As I said earlier, still a scrawl, but a recognisable scrawl to me. Now the freehand spiral. And you can see how much more in control I am. And finally, I'll draw a straight line next to a ruled line. Just look at that. Incredible. It's not perfect and it's not a cure. I still have Parkinson's disease. It still progresses relentlessly. My tremor is mainly under control but can still break through at times. I have other symptoms that DBS doesn't improve and some symptoms that DBS has made worse. But on the whole, it has given a quality of life to me that I simply didn't have prior to my operation. Thanks for watching. I hope you found my video interesting and informative. If you did, then I'd very much appreciate it if you would click on the like button beneath the video window and click below to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.